بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back dear student to commercial subjects group for level 2 Our subject is accounting 111 and today I'm going to explain chapter 13 which talks about the statement of owner's equity Today we will cover the purpose and the layout of the owner's equity and we will prepare the statement of owner's equity if you remember, we have talked about the three important financial statements, which are the income statement, the statement of owner equity, and the balance sheet. These three statements are all linked together. We have to do them or prepare them one by one. In the last lesson, we have finished the income statement, and today we are going to start on the statement of owner's equity. Let's have a quick review on the previous lesson. We have talked about the income statement. And as you remember, we have said that it is a report. We have prepared it for a period of time, like the end of the month or end of the year. We are listing the revenues and the expenses to know whether the company has a net income, which is a gain in the profit, or net loss, which is losing money. Before we start the lesson, I want you to make sure that you are sitting in a quiet place, holding your calculator, and bring a piece of paper and a pen to practice with us. The owner equity statement is a report. This report should be prepared in the period same as the period in the income statement because as we mentioned before, these two statements are linked together. First, we have to prepare the income statement, then we have to prepare the statement of owner's equity. This uh, report will measure the changing in the owner's equity, which is the capital. There are events will increase the capital and events that will decrease the capital. Like investment will increase the, the capital. Drawing will decrease the capital. Now, let's come for the net income and the net loss. If you remember, when we are making the income statement, our goal was to find out if the company is making net income or net loss. If the company is making net income, we will add this to the event that will increase the capital. If the company is making net loss, we will add it to the event that will make the capital decrease. Moving on to the format of owner's equity statement, as you can see here, we have uh, the name of the company, then the name of the statement we are doing here and the period of time. We will list, or first we will put the beginning capital, we will list the um, uh, events that will increase the capital and the events that will decrease the capital. Then we will calculate the ending capital. Now this amount, we will transfer it to the balance sheet, which will be our lesson next time, inshallah. Let's do, let's do this activity, number one. It is uh, a trial balance. First, we have to do the income statement, and then we will do the statement of owner's equity together. We have here Osama Company, and this is the trial balance of Osama Company. It is prepared for the period of April 13th, 2019. Now, we have here the amount. We have to select the revenue and the expenses in order to prepare the income statement. We will go back to the trial balance here and we will go and search for the revenues and the expenses and then we will take these amounts and we will put them in the income statement in order to get the final amount here. So we will start with the uh, uh, service revenue, which is the revenue here. We will add it because uh, it is already one amount, so the total will be the same. Then I will list the uh, expenses here, which are 730 and 1,200. We will add them to get the total of the expenses, which is 1,930. Now, 
uh, we will compare these two amounts. Here we have the total revenue and the total expenses. As we learned from the, le uh, the previous lesson, if the total revenue is bigger than the total expenses, then the company is making net income. Then I will subtract these two amounts to get the amount of the, uh, the income the company is making. We will subtract them and we will get 200 or 25,620 BD din uh, Bahraini dinars. Now, let's uh, start preparing the owner's equity statement. We will start with the beginning capital. We will get this amount from the trial balance. We have the capital here. We will take this amount and we will put it here. Then we will look for the event that will increase the capital. Unfortunately, in this trial balance, we don't have any investment. So we will put the net income that we have calculated from the previous statement, which is step number one. We got from the income statement this amount. Then to calculate the subtotal, we will add these two amounts to get the total of these two amounts. Then we will work on listing the drawings or the events that will decrease the capital. We have here a drawing with 600 BD amount. We will add it here and we will substitute these two or subtract these two amounts to get the ending capital here, which is equal 146,020 Bahraini dinar. Moving on to activity two. This is a very easy activity. It has a different idea because we don't have to start with the income statement. They already give us the income, uh, the net income amount here. So we will start directly with the statement of owner's equity. Let's see the question. The following balances were extracted from the book of Hanin Bader. This is the name of the company and this is the period of time. We have here the net income, the beginning capital, the drawing which will decrease the capital and additional investment will which, in, which will increase the capital. Now, let's uh, try to prepare the owner's equity statement. First, we will write down the name of the company, then the owner's equity statement, which is the name of the statement. Then we will put here uh, the period of time we are preparing this statement. We will start with the beginning capital from the question we are taking all these information. The beginning capital equals, equals to 60,000 BD. Then we will add the event that will uh, increase the capital, which are additional investment equals to 13,000. Then net income from uh, the question as well that we have made and uh, net in the income statement, sorry, we have make it before, or it is already given in the question, which is equal 20,000 BD. Then I will add all these three amounts to get this amount, which is 93,000 BD. I will add now the events that will decrease the capital. First, the drawing, 3,000 BD. Now I will calculate the ending capital by subtracting these two uh, figures and I will get 90,000 BD. Moving on to activity number three. I want you students to focus on this activity because it has a little trick. First, let's see the question. The following balances were extracted from the book of Maryam. This is the name of the company. It was prepared for the period of 31st of December, 2019. We have this uh, information, which is the net income, which was prepared or uh, got from the income statement. We have here the ending capital, and I will put two line here to focus on this uh, requirement or in this information because it is usually given the beginning capital. But in this question, they gave us the ending capital. So this is the trick of the question. We have to figure it out with the solution. 
they give us the drawing, which will uh, decrease the capital, and they give us the additional investment, which will increase the capital. Now, to start with the statement of owner's equity, we'll, we will write down first the name of the company, the owner's equity statement, which is the name of the statement. Then I will put uh, the period that this statement was prepared for. First, I will start with the beginning capital, but unfortunately, I don't have this amount, so I will come back later for this amount to see how I will calculate it. Then I will add the additional investment, which is 10,000 BD, the net income, 12,000 BD, and I need now to add the subtotal of these three figures, but unfortunately, I can't find it because of this missing amount. So again, I will come back later for this amount. I will write down now the event that will decrease the capital, which is the drawing. It is equal to 5,000 BD, and they give us the ending capital, uh, 95,000 BD. Now, in this kind of a question that you have to calculate the beginning capital, I will start from the end of the question, and I have to reverse all the operation in order to get this amount. First, I will start with the subtotal, and I will calculate it first. I have to add these two amounts, then I will get 100,000 BD. Then, to get this amount, first I have to add these two figures, which is equal 22,000 BD. Now I have to calculate the beginning capital by subtracting these two elements or two figures to get this amount, which is 78,000 BD. Moving on to activity number four. This activity also has a trick. We will see the question first. The following balances were extracted from the book of Salman Ahmed. This is the name of the company, and this is the period of time. We have here net loss. The previous examples or activities, we were given the net income, but here we are giving the net loss, and we know that the net loss means the company is losing money. So this is definitely going to decrease the capital. Then they have given us the ending capital, the drawing, and also they give us the beginning capital. So let's see now uh, how we will get the or prepare the, the statement of owner's equity. But first, I have to mention that the drawing here is missing. So we have to calculate it in the question or in the answer as well. First, we will write down the name of the company, which is Salman Ahmed, the name of the statement, and the period of time we are preparing this statement in. First, I will write down the beginning capital, which is 190,000 BD. Then I will write down the net loss, because unfortunately here we don't have any investment that will increase our capital, but we have only net loss. And I write it here with the minus because it is going to decrease the capital. It is equal 30,000 BD. And we have the drawings, which is also going to decrease the capital. And this figure is missing. We will find out how we will calculate it now. Then they give us the ending capital, which is equal 150,000 BD. Now I have to figure out how to calculate this figure. So I will start with these two figures. I will add them and I will get, uh, sorry, I will subtract them and I will get this amount, 160,000 BD. Now, I will calculate the drawings by subtracting these two elements, and I will get 10,000 BD for the drawings. Finally, moving to activity five. We have here a statement, and we want to check whether it is true or false. Let's see the question. We have a beginning capital, equals to 50,000 BD, I will write it here. This is the beginning capital. Then they give us the net loss, which is equal 6,000 BD. I will write it here with the minus because it is going to decrease the capital. Then they give us drawings, which is equal to 2,000 BD. 
and I will write it also with the minus because it is definitely going to decrease the capital. Now, in the question or in this statement, they give us the ending capital equal to 55, uh, 54,000 BD. Now, let's solve this question to see if the answer is correct or not. I have beginning capital 50,000 BD and net loss 6,000 BD and drawings equals to 2,000 BD. If I, w if I calculate the ending capital, I will get 42,000 BD. Now, let's check the answer. It is definitely wrong because this is the correct ending capital. So the answer is wrong and this is the right answer. This was the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening, dear students. For more exercises, please go to your book, chapter 13, and do more exercises, or you can visit the website to download more activities. Thank you.